This medication is used to relieve coughs caused by the common cold, bronchitis, and other breathing illnesses. Guaifenesin is an expectorant that works by thinning and loosening mucus in the airways, clearing congestion, and making breathing easier. Dextromethorphan is a cough suppressant that acts on the brain to reduce the urge to cough. It is important to read the package instructions carefully before using this product to be sure it is right for you. Cough and cold products have not been shown to be safe or effective in children younger than 6 years. Do not use this product in children younger than 6 years unless specifically directed by the doctor. Some products are not recommended for use in children younger than 12 years. Follow all dosage directions carefully to decrease the risk for serious side effects. Do not use this product to make a child sleepy and do not give other cough and cold medication that might contain the same or similar ingredients. Ask the doctor or pharmacist about other ways to relieve cough and cold symptoms. When taking Robitussin Honey Max DM 5 mg 100 mg 5 ml oral liquid expectorants, it's important to follow your doctor's instructions. If you are self-treating, make sure to carefully follow the directions on the product package. It's important to drink plenty of fluids while taking this medication, as it will help to break up mucus and clear congestion. The dosage of this medication is based on your age, medical condition, and how you respond to the treatment. It's crucial not to increase your dose or take this drug more often than directed. If you are using the liquid form of this medication, make sure to measure the dose using a special measuring device or spoon. Do not use a household spoon, as you may not get the correct dose. If you are taking the capsule form, swallow the capsule whole. Improper use of this medication can lead to serious harm, so it's important to use it as directed. If you experience a cough that returns, or if it is accompanied by a persistent headache, fever, severe sore throat, rash, or if it lasts or gets worse after 7 days, it's important to contact your doctor. These may be signs of a serious medical problem, and it's important to seek medical help right away if you think you may have a serious medical problem. Some common side effects of Robitussin Honey Max DM 5 mg, 100 mg 5 ml oral liquid expectorants include dizziness, drowsiness, nausea, and vomiting. If these effects persist or worsen, it's important to notify your doctor or pharmacist. If your doctor has prescribed this medication, they have determined that the benefits outweigh the potential side effects. Most people using this medication do not experience serious side effects. Although rare, a severe allergic reaction to this medication can occur. Seek immediate medical help if you experience symptoms such as rash, swelling of the face slash tongue slash throat, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. It's important to note that this is not a complete list of possible side effects. If you experience any other effects, it's important to contact your doctor or pharmacist. In the US, you can call your doctor for medical advice about side effects, or report them to the FDA at 1-800-FDA-1088 or at www.fda.gov slash medwatch. In Canada, you can call your doctor for medical advice about side effects, or report them to Health Canada at 1-866-234-2345. Before taking Robitussin Honey Max DM 5 mg, 100 mg 5 ml oral liquid expectorants, make sure to inform your doctor or pharmacist if you have any allergies to guaifenesin or dextromethorphan, or if you have any other allergies. This medication may contain inactive ingredients that could cause allergic reactions, so it's important to talk to your pharmacist for more details. Also, be sure to tell your doctor or pharmacist about your medical history, especially if you have breathing problems such as emphysema, chronic bronchitis, asthma, or a cough with blood or large amounts of mucus, as well as any liver problems. Keep in mind that this medication may cause dizziness or drowsiness, especially when combined with alcohol or marijuana. It's important to avoid driving, using machinery, or doing anything that requires alertness until you can do so safely. Limiting alcoholic beverages is also recommended, and if you are using marijuana, be sure to talk to your doctor. If the liquid forms or powder packets of this medication contain sugar and or alcohol, use caution if you have diabetes, liver disease, or any other condition that requires you to limit or avoid these substances in your diet. It's best to ask your doctor or pharmacist about using this product safely. Additionally, if the liquid forms and powder packets of this medication contain aspartame, it's important to consult your doctor or pharmacist if you have phenylketonuria, 
PKU, or any other condition that requires you to restrict your intake of aspartame or phenylalanine. Before having surgery, be sure to inform your doctor or dentist about all the products you use, including prescription drugs, non-prescription drugs, and herbal products. During pregnancy, this medication should only be used when clearly needed, so be sure to discuss the risks and benefits with your doctor. It is also unknown if guaifenesin or dextromethorphan passes into breast milk, so it's important to consult your doctor before breastfeeding. It's important to be aware that taking certain medications with Robitussin Honey Max DM 5MG, 100MG 5ML oral liquid expectorants may cause a serious interaction, which could be potentially fatal. You should avoid taking MAO inhibitors such as isocarboxazid, metaxalone, methylene blue, moclobamide, phenylzine, procarbazine, rosagiline, safinamide, selegiline, or tranylcypromin while using this medication. Most MAO inhibitors should also not be taken for two weeks before using this medication. It's important to consult your doctor for guidance on when to start or stop taking this medication. Another product that may interact with this drug is Rolapitant, so be sure to check the labels of all your medications to make sure you are not taking more than one product containing guaifenesin or dextromethorphan. Additionally, guaifenesin may interfere with certain lab tests, potentially causing false results, so it's important to inform lab personnel and your doctors about your use of this drug. As always, it's crucial to keep a list of all the products you use, including prescription-slash-non-prescription drugs and herbal products, and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. It's also important to consult with your doctor before starting, stopping, or changing the dosage of any medicines. If you suspect an overdose and notice serious symptoms like passing out or difficulty breathing, it's important to seek immediate medical attention. In the U.S., you can call your local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222. For Canadian residents, reach out to a provincial poison control center. Symptoms of an overdose may include extreme drowsiness, blurred vision, confusion, hallucinations, slow or shallow breathing, and seizures. If your doctor has prescribed this medication for you, it is important that you do not share it with others. It is crucial to attend all medical and lab appointments as instructed. If you forget to take a dose, take it as soon as you remember. If it's close to the time for your next dose, just skip the missed one. Take your next dose at the usual time. Don't take a double dose to make up for the missed one. It's important to store Robitussin Honey Max DM 5MG, 100MG 5ML oral liquid expectorants at room temperature, away from light and moisture. Make sure not to store it in the bathroom and do not freeze the liquid form. Be aware that different brands may have different storage needs, so be sure to check the product package or ask your pharmacist for specific instructions. Keep all medications away from children and pets. When it comes to disposing of this product, do not flush it down the toilet or pour it into a drain unless instructed to do so. It's best to properly discard this product and it is expired or no longer needed. You can consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for guidance. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.